Welcome back to a new machine learning tutorial. In this video, we are going to be talking about the min-max scalar from the Python scikit-learn. We are going to talk about the logic behind it and how we can code it in Python. Let's start coding. I'm going to be using VS Code as the code editor in this video, but you can use any code editor that you want. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to close this welcome page and I'm going to open something like min-max scalar dot ipmb and here I have my Jupyter notebook now I'm going to select kernel like 3.11.4 python and then we can start by creating a markdown object like feature scaling min max scalar so this is going to be our topic today and feature scaling is the process of normalizing the range of independent variables of features in a data set the min max scalar that we are going to be using in this video is a common scaling technique that transforms features by scaling them to a fixed range. Generally, it's 0 and 1 like this. And let's talk about its formula. And our formula is going to be the scaled data point is going to be equal to the data point, original data point, x minimum divided by x maximum minus x minimum. This is going to be our formula. So our scaled value is going to be original value minus minimum value. Like you can think it like you have a series like one, two, three, four, five. Minimum is one and maximum is five on there. So it's one in this example, minimum value, and we divide it by maximum value minus minimum value. So now we are going to code that. But before diving into code, it's important to understand why feature scaling is necessary. Different features in a dataset might have varying rates. For example, one feature could be in the range of 0 to 100, while another could be in the range of 0 to 1. Many machine learning algorithms, especially those that rely on distance calculations like support vector based models or k nearest neighbors, perform better when the data is scaled, but in like tree based models, we don't need scaling. So, by scaling the features, we bring them to a common range which helps us improve the performance and convergence speed of the algorithm. So in the coding part, we are going to apply that both with a library and without a library. And I'm going to start with without a library part. So I'm going to say import pandas as pd, and I'm going to be using pandas for creating a data that we can use, like I will import it, then I will say data is going to be like let's say we are going to have different features and calculate them separately like i will say feature one is going to be 10 20 30 40 50 and then i will say feature two is going to be taking values like one two three four five and feature three is going to be taking values like 100 200 300 400 and 500 and as you can see we have really different values like 1 2 3 4 5 is really different than 100 200 300 400 so i will create a data frame and i will say pandas data frame and i will pass my data inside of this and i can call data frame for checking it yeah it looks great now let's apply this manually we are going to use this formula in here so let's also copy this one and paste it here and I believe that seeing the formula a lot helps us on remembering and it's a really basic formula so I don't think you are going to easily forget that but if you forget that it doesn't matter because in practical side we generally use library for this kind of stuff so I will say data frame scaled manual and it's going to be like data frame dot copy so we are going to ch make the chains on the data frame scaled menu and with applying it without the library we are going to understand logic so i will say for column in data frame columns what i'm going to do is i will say minimum value is going to be data frame column and i will take the minimum and maximum value is going to be that columns maximum value and we will say data frame scaled manual and we will say column 
we are going to set the new value inside here now it's time for us to apply our formula so we will say data frame column and we will say minus minimum value we set in here and we are going to divide this by maximum minus minimum in here so let's do that we will say maximum value minus minimum value and i'm going to make it run and now when i call data frame scaled manual we can see that our values are scaled and we can see the range is like i can call data frame scaled manual and then describe and we can see it's between minimum of zero and maximum of one so in here what we did is we said for every column we are going to do the operation separately minimum value is going to be that column's minimum value and in this scenario it's 10 1 and 100 for each column and maximum value 50 5 and 500 in our case and we said the new column is going to be column which means that value like if we are doing the operation for this column we are going for this let's say we are going to take this compared to them and we say minus minimum value and then we divide it by maximum value minus minimum value and we get this data frame great so this is how we can apply that manually and now we are going to talk about how we can apply this using scikit-learn which is a really good library for machine learning so i will call the data frame again and we are going to have this data frame now i will say from scikit-learn dot preprocessing import min max scalar and then i'm going to initialize this min max scalar here like scalar is going to be min max scalar and then i will say data frame scaled library let's create something like this i'm not that good at variable naming and now i will say pandas data frame and i will say actually f needs to be capital scalar fit transform and i will give my data frame and also let's give columns like columns are going to be data frame columns and i'm going to call that and by the way let me show you what this returns data frame columns returns this feature one feature two feature three and scale fit transform data frame returns the values that we want in the array format like we have this array this array this array by the way it's similar with the data frame scaled manual let me show you quickly there is no difference and this is how you can do with a library like using the fit transform method after initialization and in here we create a data frame from this data and i'm going to call data frame scaled library and you can see that data frame scaled manual and data frame scaled library are a cube so this is how we can scale our features using scikit-learn and let's summarize so i showed you formula at the first step like the scaled version is equal to the x minus x minimum divided by x maximum minus x minimum and then we talked about how we can create a pandas data frame for the features we created it and in this data we applied our formula manually in here we take the minimum and maximum for each column then we apply our formula for every column and we replace them then we have the data frame the scaled versions of our features and we checked we verified it then we imported the mean max scalar we initialized it and we used it i also showed you what this separately returns like this returns an array and this returns column names so we combine them in a pandas data frame then we have the scaled version of our data set using minmax scalar thanks for watching this machine learning tutorial i have a playlist for machine learning videos where i have more than 40 videos you can check that playlist for more videos like this have a great day